Hi everyone and welcome to day four of our Power of the Breath and it's great that you've managed to join me again and I hope you've all managed to keep up. Um, so today's breath is uh, called square breathing or it's called Samvritti Pranayama in, in sort of Sanskrit or yoga practices. Now Samvritti, Sam, blah, 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 get my teeth around this, Samvritti um, Pranayama is slightly different to square breathing. But the main principle is the same. Each of the inhales, the holds, and the exhales are all the same length. With Samvritti um, Pranayama, um, Samvritti basically means balance, and um, the Sam is balance, and Vritti basically means the power of the mind. So it's basically balancing the mind. Um, with Samvritti Pranayama, you're really looking more of a triangle. So we're not doing a hold on the exhale. So we're breathing in for a count of, say, four, holding that breath for a count of four, and then we're breathing out for a count of four. So we're going to try the Samvritti Pranayama first, and then we're going to do square breathing the second for the second time. Um, the difference and the benefits of using the first one, which is a triangle of breath, the Samvritti Pranayama, is I would suggest if you are suffering from severe anxiety, sometimes actually having no breath, because we will basically if with a square breath, you breathe in, hold, breathe out, and then hold the out breath. So you've got nothing in the lungs at all for like a count of say four. Um, if you suffer from um, anxiety, um, also asthma, asthma as well, or anything that's going to involve sort of issues with your lungs, having no breath in your in your lungs can be a little bit trauma traumatic, particularly if said if you are suffering from anxiety. So I would probably go for the Samvritti Pranayama, which is the sort of triangular one. So we're going to breathe in, hold, and then we're going to breathe out, and each of those breath each of those components is an equal length. So we're going to do it for a count of four to start off with. So I will count in as a reasonable rate of four because obviously everyone's breath rate is faster or slower. Obviously, we've discovered that in the last few days. So I'll just do a very steady count. So what I'll do, I will count in for the first couple of times and then I will leave you to count into your own breath. And it's, again, it's really good to use your fingers. So we're going to use a count of four. OK, so again, get yourself nice and comfortable. This one, again, is best to be done seated. So get yourself into a nice comfortable position so cross legs on the floor maybe or on a chair make sure your pelvis is tilted so you've got a nice long spine so you're not crunching into your your lower back and you're not bringing the shoulders forward because obviously that will affect um, how you breathe as well because it closes up the chest so we're going to do the ratio of four breathing in hold for four and then breathing out for four so i'll count you in very slowly so just get yourself comfortable Take a really nice deep breath out. Just exhale all the air from your lungs. And then we're going to breathe in for a count of four. One, two, three, four. Now hold that breath for four. Two, three, four. Now exhale for four. Two, three, four. Breathe back in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, now exhale, four, three, two, one. I'll let you do the rest in your own time. So breathing in, hold, and out. Reach that last out breath and then start normal breathing. Wonderful. So, the benefits of this type of breathing, because we are having that little breath hold in here, is again, it really calms down the parasympathetic nervous system. So, all the breath work that we're doing in this sort of section, we do these are all calming breaths. Um, it just helps regulate the heart rate, um, it helps. Um, reduce stress because you are trying to just turn that parasympathetic nervous system on. So we're using the vagal nerve practice where we're trying to get the vagus nerve to bring the, the body into that sort of parasympathetic nervous system state. 
Um, again, it's really good for anxiety. It really helps focus your mind as well. So it's really good for concentrating. And I really like using this breath, particular square breath before you go to bed, because it really helps with insomnia because it just allows everything to settle. And it's, it's trying to focus your mind on something else. Because sometimes if you can't sleep, you're focusing your mind on, I can't sleep. But if you're, if you're doing a count, I suppose it's a bit like counting sheep, really. You're counting in for four, holding, counting out and then holding the out breath. So basically we're gonna breathe in for four, we're gonna hold that breath, and we're gonna breathe out for four, and then we're gonna not gonna breathe or anything. So we've got the holding the out breath for a count of four before we breathe back in again. Sometimes it's nice to visualize, I quite I call it box breath sometimes. If you can imagine, imagine that your torso is a little bit like a square, so you, when you breathe in, you're sort of counting up the side of your body, you're holding across the chest, breathing out as you're moving down the body, and then holding the out breath as you're moving into that square shape. So sometimes if you want to visualize, again, you can use your fingers to count. So again, really nice breath, see how you get on. If you find you're struggling with, with the, the out breath hold, obviously you can go back into that triangular um, Sambriti Pranayama if you want to, because obviously sometimes it, it can be a little, particularly if you've got a cold like I have, um, having no breath in your lungs can be a little, can be a little bit traumatic. It's like, Ugh. So again, as always, nice and comfortable. Check your posture, nice and tilted with the pelvis. And close the eyes down if you want to. Take a nice exhale, just let all those lungs empty. And we're going to take a breath in for four. One, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, back in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in your own time, hold, Exhale and hold. And just finish that last out breath, the last hold. And then when you finish that, just bring your breath back into its normal rhythm. So obviously we've just done a count of four on all of those. If you wanted to extend it a little bit, you could go to six or even eight. Um, and obviously you've got that out breath rate as well, so be mindful of that. Um, obviously if you are a slow breather, then the longer counts may be better for you. Um, if it feels uncomfortable, just shorten it a little bit, but basically each each of those sides of that square, that sides of those boxes should be in equal count. Um, it's good to have a bit of experiment with those two. Um, so I prefer box breathing myself to the triangular Samvriti Pranayama, but sometimes I say if you do suffer from anxiety, the fact that you've got nothing in your lungs can cause more anxiety, so which is obviously defeats the object. Um, hopefully I'll be back. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do the seven o'clock tomorrow morning, but I'll hopefully I'll be back on Tuesday with the seven o'clock one. I'm still not 100% getting there, but I, well, I am getting there. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm still really bunged off and my head still hurts, but um, I'm hopefully if I have a good night's sleep and I'm laying tomorrow morning, I'll do the recording tomorrow. And then hopefully um, Tuesday, I'll be back on the lives at seven o'clock in the morning. And uh, yeah, let me know any problems at all. Give me a shout and I will see you tomorrow at some point. Take care. Bye.